Our Keep the Lights on CLE campaign continues tonight. And as we told you on Monday, WKYC Studios is working all month long to raise money to help pay the utility bills of our neighbors who are in need. Three News investigator Rachel Polanski is leading our team coverage on this, and she's going to introduce you to a Cleveland woman who is struggling to keep the lights on. So you can look through the pages. 69-year-old Gwendolyn Garth wears many hats. And see, that's it. Oh, yeah. Artist, activist. I'm doing a lot of creative journaling. Right. And one of millions of Americans struggling to make ends meet in the wake of COVID-19. I called the gas company and they said that I'm not no longer eligible for the PIP program or the HEAT program because I have been um, late payments. You get cost recovery charges. While Garth has been able to get some help from PIP and other government assistance programs, finances remain a major challenge. And right now, she owes $8,000 in past due gas and electric bills. They automatically put you on the Payment Plus plan, which is like a third of your original bill. And mine, for me, it was 900 and X amount of dollars. It was 900 and X number of dollars a month. Yeah. At that moment, I felt sheer defeat. Garth lives on $444 from Social Security each month, plus whatever she can make from her artwork. Her utilities have been disconnected in the past, but right now she says she's getting by. As with any climb out of debt, she has a long road ahead. I will not be in the dark again. And, and that's metaphorically and literally. If any utility have to go, it'll be the gas. Mm -hmm. And Garth is far from alone. Since the start of the pandemic, nearly 15,000 Northeast Ohioans applied for assistance through Cleveland nonprofit CHN. And while the affordable housing developer has given out $12 million to 5,500 applicants, the reality is the demand for help far outweighs the available funding. It's part of the reason why we launched our Keep the Lights On campaign. It provides for flexibility for us to address more needs. So we first, we only have a limit. We only have a certain pot of dollars um, that are provided by the government. And second, that those dollars are not as flexible as many people will need and don't cover our entire viewing area. Um, so what that allows for us to do is to fill those gaps within the system. Well, we launched on Monday and we are off to a great start. We already hit $10,000, but we are still a long way away from our goal of $30,000. That's where you come in. So if you want to donate, you can head to the website right now. It's keepthelightsoncle.org. Again, that's keepthelightsoncle.org. You can donate right now, and every nickel that we raise will go directly toward paying the utility bills of Northeast Ohioans. I also want to mention that CHN, our partner in this, they will be vetting all of the applicants to make sure that this is truly going to those who need it, and your money will go directly to the utility provider, not the person in need, so you know that your money is going to pay someone's utility bill. Mm, Betsy? So important right now. Thank you so much, Rachel, for keeping up on this. Jay.